feel like somebody is just following me. All right, I'm gonna head back. Welcome back to Ghost Club Paranormal. Tonight, we are at the Nevada State Prison here in Carson City, Nevada. You can see it behind me right here. Look how huge this place is. This is by far the biggest location that I have ever investigated. And you guys are coming along for the ride. I am super, super nervous because I freaking hate prisons. It's one of my biggest fears being in prison, being locked behind bars. I do love my freedom. And that is not a Braveheart reference by any means. I'm actually genuinely terrified. We've already done the walk around. It took about two hours. Um, so we're here all night and fingers crossed we get some of the craziest paranormal activity that's been captured here. I am joined again by AG from Ghost Vexers Paranormal and also the beautiful Mandy Sue from Hollywood Paranormal Detectives. What's that? Mandy's also a medium. This is going to be really, really interesting. What are you feeling so far? Chaos. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be good. Uh, spirits are really active tonight, so we're gonna have some fun. And you've also been here? Yes. Before? Yes. How many times? Just once before. It's probably one of the most active locations I've ever been to personally. Okay, all right. <laughs> we are not messing about right now. We are going to death road. Honestly, when I reached death row, during the walk around, I had to hold back tears. I was literally biting my mouth because I was ju I just wanted to burst out crying. It was horrible. And, and you're gonna see exactly what I mean when we get there. Um, where is it though? <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks, <Mandy. laughs> So this is my first time in death row. It was not open last year. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of activity we get. I'm so nervous. Look at that. Are we lost already? Back this way? I don't think that that takes us to the stairs. So the sun is actually just starting to go down just now. We're going to be getting snow tonight. It was a full moon yesterday. I don't think that means anything though. I'm just trying to make it sound spookier, but it is already terrifying. That wasn't the door. Maybe there's something following us. Okay. It sounded like somebody's like walking around with us in here. Was that you? Yeah, I was closing the door. <laughs> I don't think you guys understand how on edge I am with this place. Smell that? It smells like smoke. It does smell like smoke. That's what they've been talking about. Tour guide, he mentioned that people have been smelling cigarette smoke. That's interesting. Oh, I just... People aren't allowed to smoke in this property, so. Are you feeling that cold, it's cold. air? Yeah, all of right. A it's like on this hand, it's like right here. Right here. Yeah, I just got like a massive, massive like gust of ice cold air. Okay. The second we enter the hallway to death row, a woman's voice can be heard mimicking Mandy. What's stranger is it was only picked up on Mandy's camera audio. Sorry, that. 
You okay? No, it was like somebody was like standing there, like right behind me. <laughs> that was so weird. In the hallway? Okay. Um, death row. So women's is that way, but death row I think is this whole section right here. The women's section is one of the most active spots in the entire prison and there's like a dark energy there. I don't really want to mess with that right off the bat. No. <laughs> but death row is definitely where I felt like the most sensitive. Just emotional and just... Yeah. That was weird. As you were talking, I felt like I was hearing like an underlying voice. Like a male voice. I was feeling like a male presence and I'll... Ch okay. Let's just go to death row because... Huh. What? Wait, what? What happened? What did you see? Can't. What did I you see? I hate when they do that, dude. The blob's here. The blob. It's one of the most commonly seen entities at the Nevada State Prison. It shows itself as a dark, shape-shifting, solid mass, and although it appears to be harmless, nobody quite knows why it's there. This footage taken in the women's cells is the best video evidence of the blob to date. It was behind Jade. I hate when they do that. I hate when they do that. I told you, tonight it's going to be full of sneak attacks. Like... Sneak attacks? <laughs> <laughs> so... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Holy shit, there's somebody, somebody at the... Hold on one second, one second. I wonder if my camera picked that up. Somebody just walked from this way to that way, just captured the very end of them. I literally saw like it looked like a shadow person. <sighs> Can you show yourself again? Did I just see somebody down there? That's not even where we're supposed to be going. Why are we going this way? This isn't the direction we're supposed to be going okay, to death so row. I had seen a black figure leaning out of this doorway behind you, uh -huh. like full on leaning out. And that's where I was like, holy <laughs> um, And then you just saw a black figure. That black was a, figure. My, the figure that I saw looked like a full person though. Yeah, mine was like the, bl the, the black. Yeah. Just, I'm sweating. The fact um, that we've been in here for not even a minute. <laughs> no. Not even a minute. Okay. Death roll, death roll. We'll come back to you later. Should be this way. All right. This is death roll right here. When it was your time for death. <laughs> How do I even say that? Like, it just seems like, I know that these people done bad things, like obviously, but I just personally feel like nobody should be tortured or put through anything like that. And this prison was the first prison to actually have death by gas. <sighs> so I do feel some sort of, in a weird way, sympathy towards them. And that's why I was getting so upset when I was in here. I'm not like pro crime and murder. Like I do want to say that. Like I get it, they were horrible people. But some of these men were so freaking young. Mm -hmm. They weren't even given a chance, you know what I mean? To be rehabilitated. But it is what it is. What? Just in British. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if these spirits like me. They would take an inmate out. And when it was their time to go, they would walk them down this hallway. These would be their last steps. They would turn the corner. And see here? Now this is the death chamber. This is where people got, got gassed and then it became lethal injection. You can see the inmate would come through this door right here. And this is where they would take their last breath. And these are all the people that got sentenced to death here. A lot. The thing that gets me, like what was making me feel like really uneasy in this room, was because I think I know who's going to make communication with us tonight already. And the second I walked into this room and I saw these people, I walked right over to this guy right here. Fane 
Archibald. But for some reason, this guy, I don't know why, I was super drawn to him. Yeah. My name is Jade. My name is AJ. Mandy. That's too great. Down the hallway that we were seeing shadows. Hello? Oh, I do not like what I was just told. Did you? I, I do not I like what I was just told. What were you just told? I'm gonna smash your face in. Okay, let's go back into that room. <laughs> I, don't, I do not like stuff. This is like right outside the gas oh chamber. God. Was that to you? Oh, just in fight. <gasps> no way. Look, fight. Wow. They don't, the, the women don't like me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was so, like, that, aggressive. I want to know who's trying to fight with us right now. I'm going to put it in the paranormal pack. Who wants to fight? Pat. Pat, were you an inmate here? Pat, if you're here with us right now and if you want to fight, can you please come into the room with us? Who do you want to fight with, Pat? Are you out of your cell right now? That was movement down the hall. Yeah. Who's making all this noise out here? Who said that they wanted to fight? Fight. Did you hear that? Yes. Yeah, I heard a woman's voice. Stopping. Where we heard the woman's voice, it sounded like it was coming from here. Is that where you were hearing it too? I couldn't tell where it was, but it was very muffled. It almost sounded. Muffled. It almost sounded. Muffled. It almost sounded like it was mimicking you a little bit, like it was like imitating you, like na 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 na, like yeah, that. Yeah, that's exactly the the, the tone. I do not like how my neck feels. Oh, it feels so weird. Um, okay, I'm gonna play it. Let's see if we got anything. Who's the female that's hanging out with us? Thane Archibald, sentenced to death by gas at 22 years old for the kidnapping and shooting of Albert Waters. I believe this to be the man who was making me feel his emotions the moment I walked into death row. The death row. And tonight, I'll find out just how scary it is to have one spirit stop at nothing to make his presence known. Can you do that again for us? Please, walk towards that ramp pod and make it light up for us again. So back in the death row, oh, watch your step. Tell me to stop. Right here? Or do I need to go back further? Good. That's good. What is it? That's, that's, that's good. good. Yeah. Okay. Mandy's holding a list with all the names of people who passed away here. Is your name on this list? Is your name on this list?
David Blackwell, convicted of murdering two police officers and was executed by gas at the age of 19. These responses are astonishing and it's clear that the men of death row still remain here in spirit and want to be heard. Let's keep walking back yeah. ourselves. Each cell above the door has a letter and it has a number. What cell was yours? We're looking for a letter and a number. Three. Three? Three. Three. Three's down here. Yeah, Whoa, whoa. I just got really, really like, really lightheaded and then I kicked into that, but. Ooh. Wow, okay. A3, is this your cell? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I knew it. I am starting to feel fucking. Yeah. I'm sorry. I did not like the sound of that whatsoever. It started to feel really fucking weird. How long did you spend in here before you were executed? I'm violent. Uh huh. What did you do? Did you murder somebody? Were you the one that was making me feel dizzy? Man, somebody is so angry and it's like making me angry. Specifically more on this side than that side. Like this side yeah. is so much more angry. Yeah, I, the second I walked into this area, like I felt so dizzy. I felt like I was gonna pass out from that door over there to that one right there. Just the energy is totally different. Was this your side? Wait, is that a, is that a European thing? Sarek? I'm sorry, that sounds really bad. Sarek? No, I've not heard of Sarek. I was before. like, is that like Irish or something? No, I, I don't know what Sarek means. Sarek. I'm sorry, it just says that the Sarek family name was found in the US, Canada, and Scotland. I'm feeling like there's somebody right next to me. To the right of me. On your right side? Yeah. yeah. And I feel like they're like really trying to like... I just feel like they're really trying to make me like... There's somebody definitely here. There's yeah. somebody definitely here. What is this? What's down here? And the images that I'm getting in this this area, and it's like they're showing me everything that they did. I mean, they really like when they they murdered, like they murdered, like it was gruesome. I keep getting this this man and. I keep seeing him, like, tormented as a child. Oh, he doesn't want to talk about it. All right, well, I'm going to go back to home base and get some more. Looking back at this footage terrified me as I have no recollection of what happened. Once I snapped out of it, Mandy and I regrouped by the death chamber while AG felt compelled to walk down the hallway where we saw the shadows earlier, alone. I just wanted to like, run out of there by myself, like go off by myself. I know, I could, I could 
feel it. But why would, why would I do that? Why would I do that? Why would I even think about that? Because only like a couple of hours prior when we were doing the walkthrough, I'm literally shitting myself. Can you make a noise for me? Let me know where you are. Somebody's just following me. All right, I'm gonna head back. I didn't get any noises. Nothing. It's very hard to see. I'm coming. Oh shit. I did not see that. Whoever I'm feeling, do you have good intentions? I'm burning up right now. I need to leave. What? I need to like, I need to leave. That red pot was just going on. Are you okay? Just get off that floor, I think. We usually ground ourselves by the courthouse and dirt. I was walking down, I could see him standing over there. I thought it was Chris, and I was yelling, Chris, Chris. Just and so. as I walked, this mist came around me twice. Uh -huh. But I was panicking. It was a, like, get out of there now. Did you feel that? I guess like Mandy had even said to AJ like quite early on, like it doesn't, like Jade doesn't seem herself. And I've never like ever, ever, ever been like that. They wanted you away from them. Uh-huh. You felt it. But I feel, I feel like something was like trying to attach to me or manipulate how I was feeling. I was just standing there and I just started burning up, like burning up. They were letting you feel, There's you know what you were feeling? Uh-huh. You were feeling, you know, when they were gassed, they would Oh would my God. from the inside out. Yes. That's what you Cause were Because I was standing right outside the gas chamber. That's where you were, yeah. They wanted her to get away from you guys, but then that's not good. Do not no. separate, you guys. No, no, no. I'm so sorry if right I now? feel... No, no, okay. I thought you guys were just... Okay. I still need to shake it off a little bit. Yeah, like, okay. I definitely okay. still need to shake it off a little bit. I'm just glad to be outside and not burning. Something's been calling us to go up on the fourth floor. I don't know where that door leads. Maybe you know I, where it leads. You're really aggressive about it. You're like, I need, I need to get past here. Like, something's happening. I feel like, I honestly feel like I zoned out. Like, I feel like I zoned okay, out. you might have tripped through a... Um, it's almost like going through a tunnel like on a boat and you're shifting were you feeling that yes that's a portal whoa whoa i just got really really like got really lightheaded and then i kicked into that but ooh. ground yourself okay 
No touching, no attaching, no manipulating. I, that wasn't us. There was no light. I had seen, I turned around and I thought I saw something behind me. As soon as I turned back, I saw something yeah, there. That yeah. wasn't us. There was no light. Yeah. It went like this. It went. That's like the shadow that mm -hmm. I saw at the end of the hall earlier as well. We didn't know this then, but the full-bodied apparition that AG's camera caught earlier could very well be the same entity we keep seeing walk by at the end of the hallways. Where this specific capture was taken was the exact wall I had seen the figure come out from earlier, but just missed it on my camera. Keep your eyes peeled, and if you see any other figures throughout this episode, timestamp it in the comments section below. Chris, how'd you feel up there? He's here. Yeah, I know he's here. Oh, he was standing next to me. Dude was just standing there, though. like, didn't give a shit. Your him. guy or Block? The big tall one. Just yeah. stood there, like, like he's never just stood there before. He hasn't been out for a while. Who are we know. talking There's about? There's a shift. Shadow guy. Have we captured him on camera or anything? You can, oh, yeah. Well, he captured him, remember, with the green beam? Yeah. But he, oh, that one. Yeah. That's him. To come up behind me. The huge looking one that yeah. was like hunched over on us. The one that we saw at the end of the hallway last oh, year. Oh yeah. no, yeah. no, I did not like that. So we're now joined by Susan, mm -hmm. Chris, and Chris. I feel like we really need to call in all the reinforcements right now. Right. Like that would make me feel a lot better. So thank you guys for joining. No problem. All right, fourth floor. Let's do this. Let's go. Want to communicate with us tonight? Pick any cell. Let's just pick a cell and sit. Did you guys want to? Oh. Oh. That was in that cell. It's, it's, in, in, that cell. Cell. it's in the cell. Okay. You can go back a little. You can send this one. This one's dark. Oh. It's dark. Oh, I thought you meant the one that I was just going in. I was like, please, I chose the darkest one. Look, no, this is. Dark, dark. You yeah. want that one? Okay, All right, AJ, go in. That one's dark. There's her taps in the corner here. Is everybody in their cells? Um, yes. Go ahead and go towards that green beam of light. I'm in the corner. Oh my god. What did it say? It says I'm in the corner and there was tapping in the corner like about a minute ago. Yeah. Who is this? Give us your name. Please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Was that in your cell or my cell? That was in us. That was in mine. The bunk right above me. Another tap, the same exact spot. Dude, what? My fucking bunk is actually shaking. I'm so like, my bunk is like, as if somebody's sitting down with me. What was that? Sounds touching. My crotch area. Oh, no. your crotch? Yeah. We had begun yeah. walking in here, and a voice came down from above saying, I like you. So, you is there, be careful. Is careful. Is careful. Is Did you hear that? Yeah. Was that you, AJ? No, I'm not moving at all. Did everybody hear that? I heard that. Yeah. It was just like a... <sighs> yeah. Is there a man here that likes AJ? Glenn. Is that the man who's interested in aging right now? <laughs> Sorry, AJ. <Adrian. laughs> Glenn, are you with AJ right now? Dude! AJ, are you okay if we leave you here and then we'll walk around into that hallway right there? Yeah. I'm so vulnerable in here by myself. Can you go up to the red light on the toilet there? Jeez. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Where are you now? I can feel you making this bed really cold because it is. Oh my God.
Can you do that again for me, please? Are you hiding in the corner that I can't see you? What the fuck was that? <laughs> Sorry, that was me, Jam. I'm just making sure you're okay. <laughs> After relieving AJ from his first date with a ghost, I received some surprising intel about the cafeteria area and how it's said to be a hot spot for extraterrestrial activity. With extraordinary photographic evidence to back this up, we had to leave the fourth floor and experience this for ourselves. Look at this. I think that they're wanting to do something in the back. Is that more active than here? Like, There's I don't tons know. of orbs back there. Okay. We always see the orbs. You guys, the picture of the alien was taken to your standing right there, and it was taken at that first freezing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Do you hear that? Yeah, okay. that's loud. Okay, do you want to play a game? Oh. See? Yeah, there's nothing above us. It's a roof. There's no second story. You guys, this is where Omar was, and he kept hearing footsteps, and he said he felt like there was an alien walking around. This is your chance to make communication with us any way you want. Yeah, I'm going to take a few pictures down the hallway, because... What was that? He had full batteries on his night vision. And at two minutes, it was just low battery and turned off. So you can use our electronics batteries if you'd like, if that's how you want to pull energy. You can come out. They love that music box. I'm going to give you guys a little history. Harold and Ralph mm -hmm. were the two gentlemen that were killed out there. Mm -hmm and they are in here all the time. Harold, Ralph, if you're here, or Daryl, can you stop the music box, please? Thank you. Thank you. It's Ralph, Harold. Oh, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> That's weird. As soon as you walked towards me, I totally went away. It was like creeping up, and as soon as she came over, it went away. You guys, we've been in here where we heard like like 20 people running towards us. Uh -huh. And then we got our recorder. If we do this, we'll scare them. Can you try scare us now? Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, dude, as soon funny. as you fucking turn around, I could feel them like... <laughs> like, no, 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 I'm not the... We're not doing that. Yeah, so Stop the recorder and see if we got anything. There was, what was that? Oh, hold on, there's voices. There's something talking underneath me. We know. Hold on. We know. We know. What? What was that third word? Okay, because we know and there's something. Right there. I don't know. It's just one syllable. It's just like now. We know now. 
All right, AG is about to do the Delco experiment. Are you excited? I am. So you're going to be in one corner of the cafeteria and we're going to sit on the other corner. Okay. Are you ready for AJ to make communication with you? That was weird. That was just like a few beeps. A yeah, a little flicker. Material grade. Okay. Whoever is here with us right now, can you please walk over to AJ? Can you let him know if you're an inmate here? Look around. We're looking around and we can't see you. That's why we need to speak with you. Can you give me a little bit of information about yourself? After you. Are you tired? Yes. I am. Very tired. My favorite. Who's your favorite? You're one of my friends. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Why can't we see that? This is fucking weird. Did you guys hear that? No words were coming through yeah, that and then it resumed. That doesn't make any fucking sense. Did you want one of us to go over there with AJ? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Who would you like to go over with AJ? Mm -hmm. Can you give us a, or like a no. note? Can I please ask you to go over and can you touch AJ? Can you actually make him feel you? Something just touched my head. Whoa. Jesus. That sounds like freaking aliens. Right? Like, yes. what? Yes. <laughs> Did you think that too? Aliens. Are there any aliens here? Can you give us a little bit more information about We're friendly. <laughs> there you go. Are you always here? And beyond. Why do you come here? I'm from deep. Deep? Deep. When I so when I hear I'm from deep, I'm thinking like obviously a different uh, galaxy. I feel like that we got a lot of direct responses about the extraterrestrial beings on this property. What we are. What we are. Extraterrestrial beings. How Just weird. Talking. Why do you come here? I think this place holds a lot of energy mm -hmm. with the springs, the rock, the quarry, you know? Mm -hmm. And maybe that attracts them. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Are you saying that you guys are extraordinary beings? It just said my name. It said, hey, Alex. Mandy, should you tap him out? Yeah. I think you should tap him out. I'll open your face. Get, okay, no. Yeah. No. No, no, no. It's me. What voice did you hear? Are you okay? Yeah. Is your name Alex? It is. Um, AJ, what about the voice you said? That was a creepy voice. It was like, rub, 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 rub. like real, like growling, like, rub, 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 like that. We get that. That was the only voice that was like that, just that one very okay. time.
And then it said, I'm going to something your face like, off. Open your oh, face. face. Oh, open your face. Yeah. I just ran through. I was like, no, don't open AJ's face. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to hit another area, we can do it. I think um, there's only really one more area that I think that has to be done or it will forever be your grades. And I think it's the women's yes. section with the blob. I was, like, I was really hoping you were gonna say <laughs> it. So like, we can't not go there. Yeah. Okay? We, have to, we, have to go there. we have to go there. So the women's area was right next to Death Row, yeah. which obviously wasn't a great start in the beginning for me personally. But as I said, I know that I would regret it if we never checked it out because that is where the blob lives. Did we just get in contact with aliens? Like, that's also, like literally all I can think about also, now. Also, we just made contact with aliens. Yes. Through AJ, whose real name is Alex, by the way. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I always wondered. I always wondered. What's going on over there? What is that? Why does that look like the other picture? Right. The Wait, other one. What's happening? That looks exactly like the other picture. With the, with looks the, like a dog. Right? Oh my god. And look, like I kept dog. I kept taking it. It's not there. What is this that we're looking at? I, I was something's in the cage. I kept seeing a shadow. Look at what starts developing right here. That's like a dog man. Yeah. With horns on Uh huh. Skinwalkers we have mm -hmm. on this land. Yes you do. I don't know, I see like a raven. <laughs> yeah, but for where a you, like where, where do you see the raven at? Yeah. Like in what yeah. part of it? Was it in the head? What do you or was mean it? where do I where see the raven, raven at? The raven. I'm just saying the same what thing. What do you mean you guys are crazy? <laughs> I'm not crazy. I'm still trying to find the raven. Oh, I see. Maybe that's the wings, the body, the head. <laughs> <laughs> you don't <laughs> see. You're just saying that to be nice. I am. <laughs> After some much needed comic relief, we anxiously make our way back to where we started the investigation. This for us was by far the darkest area of the prison, but we couldn't leave without trying to find out why. That is weird. What is that? Why would this Did be? that just turn on? That was weird. That, that was weird. That Okay, we meet again. Jay, this is where I was oh, no, I just standing, turned on again. Oh. and that block came behind me. I was standing like this. I really want to make communication with the blob. So, if you're the blob, I know you. And the music box is going off at the same time. Whoa. My, my ears are that was literally the only light that we had in here. So now we are in absolute, complete darkness. Is this how you like it? Yes? Can you make your presence known in another way? Can you show yourself for us? Do you like being known as the blob? Yes? Do you like that people know who you are? That you're a very prominent spirit here and people come from all over the world to come and visit you? Whoever's here is, uh, this is their spot. Like this is their, their part of the prison. Mm -hmm. It's granddad. No. It's granddad. What? My granddad comes through on investigations every single time he's trying to protect me from a dark spirit. I want to know who we're talking to right now. Are you a good spirit or a bad spirit? This is said grandpa. <laughs> so grandpa and granddads came through twice. Remember how I said that I thought like our grandparents were going to team up together? Yes, for this weekend? because you called your grand grandpa, grandpa right? Grandpa and you do granddad. And granddads. That's so funny. What? What did it say? We fight the darkness. <gasps> That's your right hand. Stop it right now. That's exactly what I thought. Like, I know that they come through when things get dark. Oh, yeah. They're, they're here to protect. We love you guys and keep protecting us. But I do want to talk to the blob. I know that this 
thing is not human. Well, I'm just getting really dizzy all of a sudden. Oh, so again, oh my god. Oh my god, yeah. What? We got that earlier. We got the same, that was... Ha it's, a, so it's a last name. No, but that's the name that came across like right as I started to zone out. And I was just said that I'm starting to feel dizzy. It was that exact same feeling. You just feeling. said it too. And yeah, you just started yeah. to I'm feeling dizzy. Mm hmm Is this your Sarah? Sarah. The Sarek family name was found in the U.S., Canada, and Scotland. Thank you for letting us know that you're here, but you're going to need to take a step back from Jade's energy. You can't overwhelm her like that. Please step away from me. I don't like it. I've told you that before. I'm over it. I want to communicate with you. So please tell me, who are you? What do you want? Oh, my whole body. Oh, fuck. This is the quietest it's been since we've literally stepped foot in here. Dare. 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 You want to dare? I don't know, because that sounds like me challenging it, and yeah. I don't even want to challenge it. So We're I'm not here challenging you, okay? Don't mess with me. <gasps> I'm not messing with you. That's why I'm saying I'm not going to dare you to do anything, or that's not what I'm here for. I just don't like the feeling that you make me feel. Satan. Don't even. That doesn't scare us. We're more powerful than you. This Serene, or whatever the name is, it's so weird that you guys have never really experienced this spirit here because this has been the most prominent one you the entire always, investigation for you've me. We've always had upbeat spirits in here, but lately, like, Something dark is coming here. <gasps> Whoa! Oh. Stop! I can't find my way. Oh my god! Did something god, just walk dude. up on you? Something just fucking full on like broke my leg. I have been touched a lot, but that was like the music box is done. This is crazy. I feel like I'm like surrounded. Drained. Yeah, I feel like I'm surrounded by a bunch of energy right now. Who's affected? Oh, they're bad. Stop it. Oh. Stop it. Oh. Stop it. Oh. What was that? that? That was down here. That wasn't you guys? No, what? That was down there. It was just a man. He just yes. died. <sighs> yeah. yeah. AJ, what are you seeing right now? You okay? Something is just blocking the light down here. What? Like, I, I was able to see pins of light down there no longer. Okay. Now they're back. I have it. I got it on camera. If there's somebody at the bottom of that hallway, I want you to walk across for us. We want to see you. Are you trying to distract us? Trying to move us away from each other. One night just isn't enough to cover the whole prison, and it was clear we had overstayed our welcome from the spirits, so it was time to lock up and head back to home base, where a tiny frog was waiting for us to wish us good luck on the rest of our adventures. It is time. We are wrapping up. Is this place haunted? A thousand percent. The first time that I ever felt like I'd been like affected to the point of like even maybe even like a possession was like the biggest thing for me. Like it was just totally mind blowing. That being said, if you liked this episode guys, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Please, please, please support Ghost Club. You guys are amazing. Thanks again for joining. Until next time, it's going to be a good one. Have a good night. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end of this episode. It was quite the ride. A big shout out to NSP Paranormal who joined us on this one. Links to their social media will be in the description along with AJ and Mandy's channel to check out too. <laughs> to check out too.